setting up your centrifugal force machine. So I've got this frame anchored down to the floor because I was doing some experiments and I was not satisfied with the machine I had built, so I got to thinking. Now, in previous demonstrations, the machine spun in an ellipse. But an ellipse is not optimal. An ellipse is suboptimal. So I'm trying to figure out how to get the weight to spin in a circle and still get energy from centrifugal force. I believe it is doable. So, the solution I came up with is to have two sliders. Let's say these are our sliders, okay? This is our spinning weight. This bolt would be the weight, okay? In order for this to turn in a bigger circle, it has to move on these sliders. You know? So, if this was the center, it would move around like this. Except, they would go like, like this. Something like that. Okay, so, so this thing would, in order to move in a bigger circle, would have to move these sliders. And then we could realize, hey, this thing wants to move, say, uh, two inches from the center. We could set this up two inches from the center. And we could put a fixed link here. So it always goes two inches from the center. It always moves these two inches each way. We have four inches of travel, right? So at low speeds, it would be under unity. And once you got it up to speed, it'd be way over unity. So you sort of need to go in a straight line when you're harnessing the centrifugal force. It's very difficult. At least I haven't figured out how to get it. So from the inside to spin something in a circle because you need leverage and then you're not quite pulling from the very center anymore. And then you slow the weight down and then you haven't accomplished anything. So two sliders, right? And then a fixed link, right? And when you have the fixed link like this, then it's easy to set it up with a belt because your input isn't moving all over the place so you don't need a flexible linkage, you know, an axle or something going wonky. So your output is not rotational, unfortunately. Your output, you have two outputs. You don't have to use all of them. So you have this one going back and forth, and this one going back and forth, okay? And you can replace these with uh, a long pivot, you know, so it, it's very close to straight, but a pivot is so much, you know, better and easier and cheaper than a slider. Sliders are bad news. Okay, so for your output, this is off a bicycle, ratcheting thing. Automatic transmissions have much better ones. Frags, ramp, roller, clutches, or one-way bearings. So this is a ratcheting thing. So you can put, like, a chain on here or something. So then this comes... So it spins it one way and then it ratchets the other way. And then you can put one on top flipped over, so on the same shaft, so when it spins one way, you know, ratchets one way and spins the other way. So whether this thing is moving backwards or forwards, it still turns the shaft very slowly. So your output might be very slow, right? Because you don't want to move this too much. 
Uh, well, if you have a chain, it's okay, but if you just have a, a lever, you want to keep your lever, you know, 90 degrees, sort of like this. So, so your input, or sorry, your output might only be, you know, 18 RPM, you know, just sort of like this. But once you have rotations, you can speed it up. So if you have, uh, well, you have the, the starting shaft, and that's, that's spinning slow, so it's not a big deal. Um, uh, not much friction. And then you have to step it up to another shaft. So this times seven, right? seven to one, and then to here, seven to one, and then here to seven to one, right? Or you could go seven to one, four to one, and 10 to one. Uh, but you can go from 18 RPM to 3,600 RPM for your generator, AC generator, uh, with just uh, your starting shaft, two intermediate shafts, and the generator shaft. So that's pretty much it, and you can probably start out not using both outputs. You can just use one, and you probably want to use a linkage. Um, and um, then later on, you can couple your second output up. You now, once you know it's working okay. So that way, you can have your weight spinning in a perfect circle. And perfectly producing lots of over units of power from the centrifugal force. And hopefully that makes sense.